once helpful streets are filled with despair and brokenness. And until we tackle this problem, this will be our narrative. There isn't enough drug treatment for everybody in this city. What are you doing with all this money that has been allotted to the city? Where's that going? So there's almost no development that anyone has a legal right to do in California. We have pitted the smallest differences against each other. That's just a small clip from the documentary Beyond Homeless. And joining us now to discuss the film more is chairman and CEO of the Independent Institute, Mary Thoreau. Mary, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having on me. Live in the Bay, of course. Now, we just got to see a small clip of the documentary mm -hmm. Beyond Homeless. First and foremost, for our viewers, what is the documentary all about? So the documentary casts hope. Its, it's full name is Beyond Homeless, Finding Hope, mm -hmm. because we do want to show people that there are solutions to the homelessness crisis and inspire them to get involved and become part of that solution. Mm. And what, what are some of the story plot lines that we might find in this documentary? It's a short documentary. It's 38 minutes. So about the first half concentrates on here in San Francisco mm -hmm. and talking to people who are experiencing homelessness here, as well as policymakers, service providers, and others to just get a feeling for why the homelessness crisis got, has gotten so big here, mm -hmm. um, what puts people into homelessness, what brings people out of homelessness. And then we go to San Antonio, Texas, which came to together as a community, the entire community came together to develop and execute on a model. And it's, there are a lot of great programs around the country that help people experiencing homelessness, mm -hmm. but this is the one that does it at scale. They've helped the entire city reverse what had been a homelessness crisis there. And in the process, they've really created a vibrant community wow. that works together um, in this and really a virtuous circle of help and uh, healing. Wow, it sounds incredible. I, I, I know that there's probably so much more to it as well, but through this process, maybe why was it so important to create this documentary and just, just spread more awareness out here, especially in San Francisco? So I've been working with the San Francisco Salvation Army for about 25 years as a board member, and we decided several years ago that this is an area that we could have really positive impact on and started making plans for how we could. Mm -hmm. And as a policy researcher, the task force asked me, well, you know, give us a briefing on what's driving homelessness, and importantly, what are some solutions to it? I started looking into it, and I was just going, you know, this doesn't make any sense. There's mm. just enormous resources being directed at homelessness here and many promises made over the years and it doesn't get better. In fact, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. So I was really driven to find out what can we do? You know, how can we help? Mm -hmm. And really the documentary is the story of what I learned along the way, what I'm still learning up along the way. And importantly, again, those important models that we hope by watching this documentary, people will be inspired to say, oh, that's a good idea. How can I apply that here in my neighborhood, in my city, and inspire people again to come together, not wait for somebody else to do something, yeah. but get involved. Well, I don't want you to give the entire documentary away, but I would love to know a little bit more in detail through this process of you having to do research and understand other platforms that worked. What have you learned about the homelessness problem here in San Francisco and maybe how we can change it? Well, it's highly individualized. So when you hear somebody say it's just about housing or it's just about addiction or it's just about mental illness, that's not true. It is those things, but it's many more things. So I like to say that there is many reasons for becoming homeless as there are people who are experiencing homelessness. And so we can't solve it with one solution. We have to deal with the fact that these are individuals and they need individualized attention and the resources that suit that individual's needs. So we have to get creative. We have to expand the array of solutions that are available to people. And again, that happens by people getting involved, becoming social entrepreneurs, becoming mm -hmm. community activists, and um, just getting to know what they can do and where they fit in helping with the solution. And you mentioned a couple of ways that people can come together to make this better, but for you, Mary, if it, hypothetically, what would it take 
for everyone to come together and just make this situation better here in the city? Well, we're trying to make those connections. So we're having screenings around the city uh, with neighborhood associations, with community organizations. And the nice thing about its short length is it's 38 minutes long, which lends it really well to watching it and then having a great conversation afterwards. Again, what lessons can we learn from this? Where can I fit in? And we're really making connection with a lot of organizations to try to plug people in to, here's an opportunity to volunteer, mm -hmm. here's an opportunity to get active. And we're posting this on our website, beyondhomeless.org, under Get Involved. And we'd love to do screenings with everybody, anybody who wants to do a screening, we're happy to do it again and help ha build those co conversations, build those connections, give people understanding that if they come together, we can take care of this. And what has been some of the main reactions from this documentary and just learning about this? Just universally positive because it is a positive vision. It's not politicized. We're not attacking anybody. We're not casting blame anywhere. We're saying this is a, this is a crisis. These are individual human beings. We do need to do something that's very effective. Mm -hmm. How can we work together? And here are some ideas. But what are some other ideas? So people really respond to it well because it does make them hopeful. There's been a lot of skepticism that's grown up over the years of, well, we've spent all this money, we've tried all these initiatives, here's another promise of a big initiative mm -hmm. that's going to solve it and nothing changes. So it's very refreshing for people to say, no, it's not hopeless. There is hope, there is a vision for yeah. how things can be mm -hmm. and I would like to be a part of that. And that's really what happens. People get to the end of it and they're excited and they're like, I wanna, how do I get involved? Yeah. You know, what do I do next? That makes sense. And so that's what we're trying to do is tell them, okay, here's how you can get involved. Here's what you can do next as an individual. Well, I just know that you guys are doing wonderful things and spreading so much awareness. So thank you, Mary, for thank joining you. us here. Thank you so much, appreciate it.